welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about the Sony ZV-1 camera. I bought this camera a little bit over a month ago, mainly to use for vlogging, but I use it for all my YouTube videos now. My husband got this for me. I really wanted the white one because I thought it was the prettiest one. And before we bought it, I saw some reviews online but those were mainly made by guys and I thought it was a good idea to also have a female perspective on that camera on here because I ran into some what you could call girly problems with this camera and I just wanted to share some thoughts on this camera today. I also have some more technical or general things to say about this camera. So if you are thinking of buying this camera for yourself, mainly for vlogging or making YouTube videos, and especially if you are a woman, stay tuned because I have some tea to spill about this camera. If you enjoy this video or learn anything from it, please hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. That really helps me out in the algorithm. And let's get into the video. So first I want to start with some general notes. We can talk about the girly stuff later. I have use this camera for about 15 videos now so i do feel like i have a good impression of how this camera works and what i like and don't like about it the first thing that i really like about this camera is the microphone the mic that is built in the camera is pretty good it works really well for vlogging or making sit down videos like this without needing any additional mics the only time I did have a little bit of trouble with it was if I was in like a really busy restaurant or you're outside and there's a lot of noise from the wind and maybe some roads. That's when I had a little bit of trouble. You could still understand what was said in the videos, but it was just not like a very good quality of sound anymore. Other than that, I really liked the camera. I did never really have the need to use an additional camera. <laughs> That's a lie. I never really had the need to use an additional mic. So yeah, the first thing is the mic is really good. The second thing I noticed is that the stabilization in the camera is not as good as I expected. Although it has a stabilization mode, but I do feel like for a vlogging camera, it is not very good. I used to film all my videos with my iPhone XS, which was a pretty old iPhone. But the stabilization of that iPhone was way better than this camera. Um, of course, I do get that we're just not technically like there yet to have a really good quality video and have a stabilization function in there because an iPhone does that with AI and I guess you have to reduce a lot of the quality of the video to be able to give that much of a stable video. However, I do feel like for a vlogging camera, it is kind of weird that you can't really walk on the street with it and have a stable video. I do also have the stick to screw it on top and hold it in my hand like this and that helps a little bit to make it more stable but it is not at all like a gimbal or something it does not really stabilize in itself so that is kind of like half a solution but not a real solution also I don't like carrying the stick with me everywhere um, because I feel like the camera itself is already quite a lot to fit in your bag I will get to that point later um, so yeah, the stabilization thing is something that I struggle with. And the third thing I have to say is that I do not use all the technical options that are in this camera. Figuring out this camera is pretty easy. There's a lot of YouTube videos for every single one of the functions that it has, but I am just not that type of person. I don't like the technical part of making videos. I like the creative part of making videos and like the camera is literally for me a tool to make videos. I do not plan on exploring the camera more. So I do like about this camera that if you just put it in the auto setting mode, um, it just does whatever you want it to do and it works fine. So if you are like me, not a very technical person and you don't enjoy the technical side of filming, this is a nice camera for you because in auto mode, it pretty much gives a very good quality 
video and you don't have to figure out all the nitty gritty technical stuff. So that is something I really like about this camera. For the people who are really into the technical stuff, this camera can still probably do everything you need to do because it does have a lot of great functions. Now let's get into the girly notes. The first thing I noticed about this camera, which is also why I really wanted this one, is that they have a white edition. There's also a black edition, but I didn't really like that. It looked a little bit too technical or manly for me. I really like the white one. The dead cat on top of the mic makes it look like a little bunny or something. So it's a really cute camera. I actually got a lot of compliments as well when I went to the mall with it. People noticed that I had a really nice camera. So that is what I really like about this camera. It actually makes you look good because it's white and cute. Also the size, I think for the quality of videos that you want to make this or that I want to make, the size is pretty good. I don't think there's a camera out there that is smaller and still does a good vlogging job. However, the size is still a little bit too big for me. The point is, I have a lot of small handbags. And yes, this is where the girly part comes in. Wait, I'm going to get the bag that I use with this camera. So let me give an example of a bag where this camera does fit in. And that is like this bag. I put it um, vertically like this. So I can also have my wallet. I have a small wallet, by the way. My iPhone, maybe some lip gloss and all my girly stuff in it and I feel like this bag is quite a big handbag. It is a like nice normal size but this is the only bag where my camera really fits and then I can't really have any additional stuff in it like my sunglasses don't fit if I have my camera in it and what I don't like about this camera is that it doesn't really fit in bags like these. Like the cute small party bags the camera does not fit in there because otherwise you just can't fit your wallet or your phone or everything else in it. So yeah, that is not really this camera specifically. This is probably a problem with all cameras, but that is something that I noticed when I started vlogging with a camera instead of a normal iPhone, that you have to really figure out your handbag situation and you cannot use the small cute bags to many people this may sound like a small problem but I'm not really willing to change my whole handbag collection just because I want to fit a camera in there because I don't like bigger bags anyway. Of course it is a nice problem to have that you need to have more Birkin bags or Kelly bags because that's the only bag that your camera fits in but honestly that is not my life so I would like to just have a camera that fits in my bag. I am aware that this does not exist at the moment, so this is not Sony's fault. So that is kind of also my overall view on vlogging with a camera. I don't really find it very comfortable or very practical to film with a camera. Like honestly, I know that pretty much all the big vloggers on here film with a camera because yes, the quality is so much better. I got a new iPhone right now, this is the iPhone 13 Pro and still the quality of my camera is better. You can actually see that, especially in like portrait modes and stuff or when you want to sh show a lot of depth in a scenery or something like that. So the quality is way better. I do feel like the microphone is also still better than vlogging with an iPhone. But the big thing for me is that I find it very impractical to film with a camera. Um, for example, when I am somewhere and I'm vlogging, for example in a restaurant, I do also want to take some other footage for social media. And when I vlog with an iPhone, I can just film like this for my YouTube video and then Put my camera like this and take some pictures or vertical videos for Instagram or other social media channels. And this may sound like a small problem, but it is a lot more inefficient, I'd say, to first get your camera out of your bag, film with your camera, then put your camera away and then take your phone as well to take some shots for social media. Also the transfer of images or videos from your camera 
to your iPhone are not as smooth like I would like to just always have them on my phone um, and you can put them on your phone but it's kind of a lot of work but I somehow feel like it's just way more efficient to do everything on one device like an iPhone so yeah I'm now kind of doubting when to use the camera and when to just vlog on my iPhone because the stabilization part of the iPhone and the efficiency of just having one thing to worry about where you can shoot all your videos and all your content with that is just a big plus for me so I'm kind of now trying to find out when it's really important to bring my camera and when I can just do with my iPhone alone for sit down videos I would still say the Sony SV1 is a very good camera I really like having it for videos like this um, and if you don't really mind the struggle of taking your phone out of your bag and then taking your camera out of your bag or the other way around then I would say it's a great camera to have for vlogging minus the stabilization part that I just talked about um, but other than that I do really like this camera I don't feel like I should have gotten another camera so yeah the most problems I have with this camera are not the technical stuff at all but more the practical things of daily vlogging if you are a vlogger yourself and you have found somehow found a way to make this more practical and efficient and less of a struggle please let me know in the comments because I can really use some help overall I do really like this camera and I am just still figuring out how to use it and when to use it and how to make it less of a struggle to vlog with it and also do daily life so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you learned something from it I hope I was able to give you a little bit more of a feminine perspective on this camera and vlogging in general if you did please hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button and i hope to see you again thanks for watching